be outside, I'll be on the way. I'll be on the way. You can be me in five, I'll be your nine, I'll be your day. Greetings, Ascendant Nation. So I'm coming to you with your message. Um, if you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, this is for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I greatly and truly appreciate it. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Hold on, I'm trying to turn my frequency down. Okay, so, we're going to start off with your angel number. All right, so the angel number for you, fire signs, is 1414. Okay, so... This is def definitely giving me big Sag energy, okay? Someone here could be a earth angel. Something could be significant about balance, temperance, energy. Someone here could be very balanced, okay? But 14, 14, 14 definitely is giving me that earth angel energy. Um, also, all that Sag energy. Someone could have heavy Sag in their chart. Also, I'm getting 55 as well. So something could be significant about you could be saying 55 or 555. Something could be significant about a shift. I'm also picking up Oshun. So something could be confirmation in the background. Something could be significant about Oshun. And then the number 10 as well. And it's in new beginnings. Okay. <clears throat> so yes, let's get into it. Something could be significant about the throat chakra also. But to further clarify your angel number, um, because I said this in some other readings too, but I did something a little different this time. I was led to, instead of Googling the angel number, I was led to clarify it to see specifically what spirit wanted you to know, okay, when it comes to this angel number, just in case you see it or what you needed to know at this time, okay? So we have victory, triumph, peace and eternal life okay something could be significant about palm trees okay so following that we have Popeye all right Popeye the sailor man I don't know if y'all familiar with Popeye but I used to watch Popeye faithfully as a kid so Pope, Popeye spiritually it says Popeye's name tells us of source, God, the universe, okay? Popeye is strong and rescues the weak, okay? So something could be significant about that as well, okay, for you. Remember to take what resonates, what doesn't, leave it here. Then we have the hot air balloon, okay? So the message here is hot air balloons are symbolic that you have finally reached the end or completion of something in your life mind body and spirit so as i said previously i was picking up 10 10 okay um well 55 and 10 all right but um in buddhism the hot air balloon represents the soul okay and its journey through life all right so something could be significant about definitely a rebirth someone going through some sort of transformation here okay and then we have crystal necklace, all right? So something could be symbolic or I'm hearing sentimental or something like that when it comes to a crystal necklace or something about a crystal necklace, okay? If you are someone who has been inquiring about a crystal necklace, I highly recommend you get one, okay? If you don't know where to get like an official crystal jewelry, um, definitely email me. And I have someone who is very, who has it all okay so moving on the first card we have for you the next message is whispers of mother earth okay so this did come out i want to say uh maybe for fucus or the air signs i can't remember okay but it says creativity ideas inspiration artist writer china channel okay so Something about your soul's journey here once again, okay? You could be someone who is an artist, okay? You could be someone who is very creative, who comes up with their own ideas, okay? You could be a writer as well. Something could be significant about you journaling or writing, okay? So, to further clarify this energy for you fire signs, we have the wall obstacles so this card came out in reverse with it which is amazing to see okay so 
the number 11 could be significant. So something could be significant about your karmic justice I'm picking up here. All right. But definitely um, these obstacles have been, with this coming out in reverse, something has been removed. Okay. Or things are being removed. Okay. So to further um, go on with your message, we have exchanging gifts. The number 27 could be significant, okay, which gives us the number nine, all right? We do have nine, nine here, so some type of significant change, okay? This could be something that's hidden by source, okay, because we do have 18, which is the moon card. So something here about exchanging gifts, some type of gift, gifts, um, or you're being gifted something after going, um, hurtling or, uh, jumping, I'm seeing like a runner in my mind's eye, you know, like in the Olympics, I'm seeing someone jumping over, you know, the beams or the bars, that's what I'm seeing, okay, something could be significant about the Olympics, okay, someone could, um, could have been a runner here too, all right, um, or, you know, did track or something like that, so to further clarify this energy, we have the, and if y'all here talking in the background, those are my babies in their room conversation so um so further clarify that we have orphan all right the number five could be significant here all right something could be significant about an orphanage okay a past life could be significant as well someone could have been an orphan in a past life okay something could be significant about that shit you could have been an orphan in this one too or someone wanted to make you feel this way okay but with this energy I'm picking up, this may have been some sort of obstacle that you overcame, okay? Or you, you did get over or you healed, something you healed, okay? Someone wanting to make you feel left out, I'm hearing, okay? So, next we have the occupation. The number 34 could be significant, all right? The number 7 could be significant. And we did talk about, you know, your creative your creativeness your ideas, your soul's journey, okay? And that's what I'm getting off of this, okay? Something could be significant about you being a traveler for work. Someone could travel for work, okay? I'm hearing as above, so below as well, okay? So something could be significant about your ethereal work as well, I'm hearing here, okay? So the next thing we have here is change, all right? The number nine again, as I stated before, okay? So definitely some sort of significant change here, okay? And then we have uh, we have courtship, okay? So something could be significant about a change in a relationship or some type of partnership, okay? The number four is significant. Something could be significant about an emperor energy. You could be a feminine and still embody emperor energy as well, okay? So, to further clarify the obstacles card and reverse for you fire signs, we have life path eight, the power flare, all right? So, I asked Spirit, what is this? I clarified the obstacles in reverse. So, something about balance and success is coming in when it comes to your occupation and partnerships, okay? Some significant change here, okay? And we do have seven, eight, nine. So something could be significant about you saying seven, eight, nine. Okay. Then we have, or some type of variation when it comes to those numbers. Next, we have the number 13. So something is coming to an end here. Okay. Like I stated before, some type of rebirth. Okay. Next, we have the cosmic heart. All right. So something could be significant about the heart chakra. All right. Archangel Raphael could be significant as well. Something could be significant about you healing your heart chakra. But it says devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. Okay. So something could be significant about something you pray for a sag. Oh, I don't know why I keep saying sag because of that 14, 14. A sag could be significant. But something is significant about something you pray for fire signs okay god has heard you all right your angels have heard you all right so it says deep knowing whatever this is you have a deep knowing about it okay the number seven again we have 34 43 so some type of mirroring energy here okay you could be mirroring something with another person or you know y'all something could be significant about mirrored souls as well but um, you could have a deep knowing about another or vice versa, okay? Then we have no peace like home. The number 50 could be significant. You could be saying 50. 
like crazy, okay? So, sorry, y'all. I had to tell my doors to keep it down because it was getting louder. So, um, <laughs> so, something significant about the number 50, okay? You could be saying this, all right? Something could be significant about your passion, your, um, your protection, okay? So, something could be significant about something feeling like home to you, okay? Something feeling familiar, okay? Someone could feel home when with you. Okay, something could be significant about that. All right, something could be significant about a house near water or on water because on this card is a home that's over water. Okay, it looks like here, or something about the heavens. Okay, something could be significant about that too. All right, so next we have observer. All right, so something could be significant about you being a observer, and I'm getting this off of this um, deep knowing card as well, the moon could be significant, all right? Stargazing could be significant as well. And we got the number 13 again here. So 1313 or 1331 could be significant also, all right? I'm also looking at this card too because something could be significant about someone observing you, all right? They have a, it's a telescope, I think, on here. So something could be significant about someone observing you or something about a magnifying glass or something like that, okay? I'm also hearing, too, about people trying to pick you apart or trying to figure you out. I'm hearing that, too, okay? So, the next card we have from the Kipper deck is Pathway, all right? The number 35 could be significant. 1121 could be significant as well. But the number 8, and this is giving me that strength, okay? We Like I said, we had the obstacles card to come out in reverse. And I feel like it's something took strength, okay? Your job could take a lot of strength, a lot of grounding as well, okay? Um, it goes back to that passion that I was picking up also, okay, when it comes to the number 50 here, all right? Some, something about you being very, very passionate about something, okay? Your heart, all right? Devotion that we got off the Cosmic Heart card, which is crazy because I just now looked at it again, but yeah. So next we have Judication, all right? So something could be significant about you could be saying 50, 30, all right? But something could be significant about, and 30 for me too is like um, I, okay? The letter I, all right? And usually when I see this, it's speaking of it's certain guys or certain uh, ancestors of mine. And, you know, it's kind of like taking ownership or it's like it's me or something like that, okay? So, and two, um, when I said it's me or taking ownership or something, I put my hand up. So I did say this is judication. So something could be significant about court. Something could be significant about perjury as well. All right. Something could be significant about a home also because this is falling right underneath the no peace like home card. All right. Then we have despair. All right. The number 32 could be significant. That's five again. All right. So. Something here about someone being in despair um, because you could be, like I said, you're a heavy observer. You have a deep knowing about something. And I feel like whatever this is has put someone in despair, okay? With the um, 34 or 43 here, I feel like someone wanted you to uh, mirror this energy, okay? Someone wanted you to be in despair. Someone wanted you to feel orphan fire signs, okay? But it didn't work, okay? So... To further clarify this energy, we have Darth, okay, from Star Wars. So, um, the spiritual meaning behind this is manifestation of the union between the living cosmic force, the living and cosmic force, order and chaos, light and dark. All right, this is giving me spiritual warfare, okay? So, definitely something significant, significant here about you enduring some, type, some sort of spiritual warfare or fighting some type of spiritual battle fire signs, okay? So, the last bit of energy we here have here, or the message we have here is the second bloom, all right? It says a second chance is never too late, new possibilities, okay? This is giving me the obstacle card in reverse. This is giving me, um, you know, your devotion, okay? This is giving me 
um, some sort of change, okay, as well, like those previous cards that we had to come out, balance and success here with the life path eight, okay, so to further clarify this energy, we have benefactor, all right, the number three could be significant, an empress energy or mother figure could be significant here, grace and generosity, this grace and generosity is given the exchange of gifts as well, okay, so, um, with this energy, I picked up something about a beneficiary, okay? That's the energy that I, that's what I got out of, off of this, okay? So something could be significant about someone being a beneficiary of something or on something or something being signed. Someone could have fraudulently signed something as well here, okay? But we have regeneration, the number 46 could be significant, okay? You could be seeing, um... Two four six, okay, or you could be saying forty six sixty four, something like that, okay. But something here is being, I feel like your ancestors are cleaning up something, okay, or making something right. That's what I'm getting off of this card, okay. Something also could be uh, significant about your DNA, but I did pick that up in another reading as well, okay. So make sure you watch the other signs too, because it could be a message there for you, but. Following that, we have believe in the impossible, okay? And then um, new possibilities stuck out to me too on the second blown card as well, okay? But something significant about possibilities and believing in the impossible, okay? I love the saying that even impossible says possible, okay? Or even the word impossible says possible, okay? So something could be significant about the blue moon also. The color blue could be significant. Okay, someone here could like the color blue. All right, but to further clarify this energy, we have great fortune. All right, the number 26 could be significant. All right, the number eight, which talks about strength again. I'm getting vitality, I'm getting endurance off of this card. And like I said, the heavens, the ethers are rewarding you, fire signs. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here. Okay. Grace and generosity, great fortune, okay? This card falls right underneath that, all right? And then we have 11 again with the eight and the three, okay? So talking about justice again, karmic justice for you, okay? So to further clarify the regeneration card, we have house, all right? The number 20 could be significant here, okay? This is giving me that 1010 energy again, all right? So, and regeneration for me too, with looking at this card, is giving me death and rebirth again, okay? Something ending for something new to begin, okay? I'm picking that up here, all right? So, something could be significant here about a home, okay? And I, we did pick that up here when I said something could be with the um, no peace like home and adjudication, with the adjudication falling underneath the no peace like home. Something highly significant here about a home, okay? Something could be significant here, too, about land that did come out in another reading as well, all right? So, um, and then we do have 46 here, again, with the 26 and the 20. So, you could could be definitely saying 46, 46. So, next we have unexpected income. The number 27 could be significant. We have nine, again, to um, clarify the belief in the impossible, okay? So, I'm just hearing here, keep the faith, okay, for you fire signs, all right, if this energy resonates with you. So, lastly, here to clarify this energy overall, we have superhuman strength, speed, durability, stamina, agility, and reflexes. And I did mention that I was picking up vitality, okay? Regenerative. We did have regeneration, okay? I'm the real deal, y'all. So regenerating, my guys are too. We have regeneration, regenerative healing factor, extended longevity. I just love when my readings flow. Um, and then we have martial artists and we have masks, okay? So something could be significant about all of this energy here. Something could be significant with the despair here, the despair card. I feel like this was someone who could have worn a mask, 
okay? Um, something could be significant here about someone who knows martial art or it could be something that you're looking to get into, okay? If you were looking for some sort of sign, this is your confirmation, okay? Some type of protective, I'm hearing like self-defense class or something like that, okay? And then, um, like I said, with the extended longevity, it's giving me... Um, vitality endurance okay and strength and then like i said with the regenerative and the regeneration something could be significant about you healing something could be significant about you healing your um ancestor line i'm hearing okay so that is everything i have for you fire signs i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did make sure you like share comment and subscribe happy mother's day to all of the mothers and i'll talk to you in the next reading